came in for a callus potentially ulcer and I wanted to show you this because it's so important not to go barefoot at home especially if you're diabetic he also has a little bit of neuropathy so he necessarily can't feel what's building up and the biggest concern take a peek here is that this callus really builds up and unfortunately the skin necrosis or it breaks down underneath the callus wow. so we want to keep everything cleaned up so the most important thing as a diabetic is that you need to get calluses trimmed regularly because they just create ulcers and everyone knows where yeah, ulcers yeah. go. You get can get infections, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can get um, infected bones, things like that, and that's when we get into trouble. So just gonna trim this callus. If you've used everything on the market for your dry, cracked, thick skin, try Heal. Heal has urea in it and a ton of other essential oils and hydrating um, items to help penetrate deep into the skin so it works well beyond after you've used it. And we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that we don't have an ulcer under here. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Good deal. We'll go ahead and get, it's quite hard. Now, do you go barefoot in the house? I generally do. Oh, now, has anyone ever told you not to do that? Has everyone told you not to do that? <laughs> <laughs> when they go outside when we were playing with little kids. <laughs> you must be from Kentucky. No, I was from Florida. Oh! Yeah, really important just because um, you would be surprised what I have pulled out of uh, diabetics' feet. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Glass wire carpet really? little wires oh because you can't feel it yeah i can't yeah. like you should so <laughs> we don't want yeah. this oh yeah you got a lot that's just kind of loose right here here we go getting into some better skin down here and some people love especially athletes they love to have these calluses develop they think it's protecting their foot or something oh yeah <laughs> Um, a little odor did come out of here. I can see a little bit glistening right there. That does tell me there's a bit of an opening. Um, and this white kind of appearance here that's under the skin, that is consistent with an ulcer. And we just, now at this point, we know we have an opening. We wanna make sure it's not too deep. Yeah, so all this, just like we talked about, is not attached. And it just starts dying. The good news is, is you don't have an infection. Good. No infection, no bone infection. We took x-rays good, good. to rule that out. Yeah, a lot of that's not even. Did you shower this morning? Yeah. Okay. We probably are seeing a little bit of moisture in the skin as well from the shower because that skin just kind of feels really wet. Yeah, I take one generally once or twice a day. So a protective slipper, and for you, a diabetic shoe would be really great to take the pressure off of this pressure point, essentially. And this is, you can see bleeding here under the skin. Um, that tells us you're getting too much pressure. And we talked about before we started filming how skinny you are down here. You just don't have a lot of fat, which is common, <laughs> which is common. Um, the more birthdays you celebrate, it, it just deteriorates and wears away. So we'll definitely... Yeah get you a boot to wear temporarily okay. to take all of the pressure off because this bone here is likely coming down. It's what we call plantar flex, picking up all this pressure. Doing great. Looking better already. Yeah, just be real gentle here. Looks like I lost a couple pounds there. <laughs> uh, you have. Take a look at the tray here, Angelica. Look at this. Yeah, we're not even done yet. <laughs> It's always been there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to make sure that we keep a close eye on this, number one, to heal up the yeah, ulcer. Yeah. And if you have any emergencies, any concerns for infection, I want you to call me yeah. immediately or, you know, go to the emergency room. Whatever it is, don't sit around and wait on this. Scooch over, girl. <laughs> <laughs> You can almost be sitting in my lap at this point, getting a good, good image for you guys. All right, doing good. Let me get that little piece 
she's driving me nuts. When the tissue's wet like this, it doesn't want to, there we go. Oh. <laughs> doesn't want to release. So I shouldn't have taken a shower there? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is actually good because if it's really hard, yeah, it's also difficult. Exactly. So I think we're catching this just in time. Yes, you do have some breakdown, mm -hmm. but honestly, it's just right in the center here. That is our ulcer. This is, I guess what we would call pre-ulcerative, um, which was in the process of breaking down. So there's that blood. And what we'll do, because this is not deep at all, mm -hmm. is um, just have you apply betadine Actually, no, Amerigel. Let's do Amerigel. It's a wound care ointment. Okay. And um, like I said, we'll take the pressure off. We'll fashion you a boot to wear temporarily. Mm -hmm. I would say probably the next couple of weeks this will be healed. And we'll definitely do a follow-up video. So I'll wear that boot instead of a shoe? Correct. Yeah, and okay. you'll you'll kick it off when you drive, of course. How about at work? Um, are work. you standing a lot for work? Or? Oh, yeah. I've seen it all day. Well, when, when I work, I stand all the time. Are you able to wear a boot like that at work? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the boot. I can wear a shoe, boot, whatever. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I have just some people aren't able to do that. But yeah, if yeah. you can. Yeah, okay. I just want to know. Absolutely. Yeah. God, I can see the difference though. I can it's, see around my foot. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I didn't realize. Uh huh. All right. I'm not going to keep digging too much in there, but. Everything's all cleaned up. Oh, okay. So we're going to grab you that ointment. And then again, you're going to put it on there every day. Okay. And that is an antibacterial. Um, it's also an agent that will help fill in this small little hole. Okay. And it'll protect the, the pre-ulcerative part, that white part around there. All right, you guys, we'll do a follow-up video in a couple weeks. I fully anticipate this to be healed as long as he is compliant. Right. Uh, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, comment below. I'll see you next time.